Whenever I'm asked, what is my favorite Mama Aline technique, the first thing that always comes to mind is forged foil. That's the technique where you take the kitchen foil and you crumple it all up and you put it on a hard surface. Today I'm going to use that technique and also show you how to create a finish that is a faux patina. For this project, I am using my Aline's Fast Grab Tacky Glue. It's available in both the four ounce and the variety tacky pack. This is a great glue for this project because I want to glue pieces on that I want to hold quickly. The first thing that I wanted to do is to raise the wing area of the bird. So I have a paper plate that I cut apart. As I mentioned, I like using the Aline's Fast Grab Tacky Glue to glue down these buttons because I want this to hold quickly. It does not need to be dry before I go on to the next step, but I do want to use the Aline's Fast Grab Tacky because it's going to hold fast. The buttons are glued in place on the wing, so I'm going to set this aside while we work on putting the foil onto the body of the bird. The next step is to prep the kitchen foil. You want to put a lot of texture into this. I just use my hands to press that texture into the foil. Apply your Aline's Fast Grab Tacky Glue onto the surface of your project. I just use my fingers to rub a nice even coat. Place your piece of foil down right into the Aline's Fast Grab Tacky Glue. Give it a good press. Then you'll want to take your scissors and cut around the edge, leaving enough so it can wrap around to the back side. Now that I have all of the edges of my foil cut, I can apply my Aline's Fast Grab Tacky Glue along the edge and we're going to wrap these pieces around to the back. And then you're going to do the same thing on the back. Now you can cover the buttons with glue and foil to complete the wing. Working the foil into this piece takes longer because you're going to start pressing to push that foil in and around those buttons. We want the texture and the shape and design of those buttons to show right up through that foil. Cut the edges of your foil the same way you did on the bird body so that you can wrap this foil around to the back side of the wing. Now that I have embossed my foil around the buttons, you can see that design pops really beautifully and it's going to show up even more when we paint it. We're finished with the wings, so I want to bring you back to the bird and one of the last steps I do on this is to crease it down even more with the pencil. The next step is to paint a finish onto your Look of Metal foil and there's lots of different choices for colors. The traditional technique was simply a black antiquing, but I want to make this look like patina today. So I am going to use a cosmetic sponge and start with rust acrylic paint and just sponge it over the surface of the foil. When your first coat of paint has dried just a little bit, you can come in with your second color. And this is a, an aqua. And using it on the sponge, I like to dip in and then tap off the excess. And we will add our look of patina over our rust. I'm using the same paint technique to paint the patina finish onto the wing. I want to give a little bit more color variation on the wing, so I'm adding a little bit of white. Once the paint has dried, you can glue the wing on with the Aline's Fast Grab Tacky Glue. And here you have the look of faux patina on the Vintage Aline's Technique of Forged Foil. Now that you have learned this new faux patina technique, You'll want to try it on wall art, boxes, home decor, jewelry, mixed media, and a lot more. 
The Aline's Fast Grab Tacky Glue is available at Michael's. It's terrifically tacky and creatively cool.